Hey everyone, welcome back to our DC review. Today we are talking about the second episode of The Penguin Show. Last week's episode was quite slow, but by the end of it, I loved it. And I have to say that this week's episode was great as well. I do need to warn you that there are some spoilers in this review as we will be talking about specific details from the show. So let's get into my review. I really need to emphasize how much I love the visuals of this show. Most shots have a really shallow depth of field and real close-ups on the characters, and that just allows you to solely focus on the incredible performance from these actors. You see so much of their emotions, and with Oz, you see this greedy, manipulative, and desperate man trying to play both sides. It's incredible, and seeing him trying to get on the right side of Sophia, but also her seeing right through him at the start, is brilliant. You think she's just going to fall for it right away, but she's smart, and it's not until later on in the episode when Oz emotionally manipulates her twice, that she then thinks he's on her side. And I love how it's not just a one versus one. You have Oz against the Moronis and the Falcones, and at the start, Sophia, and none of them really know what he's doing, and in a way, neither does he. He's trying his best to climb his way to the top, but he's got to be so reactive when things go wrong and think on his feet, or rather, one foot and one very deformed foot. But the point is, things aren't going perfectly. His plans do go sideways sideways in this episode, but he plays it cool and just goes with it. But now he's also struggling with his mother as she's got dementia, which is getting worse. And it looks like Oz is in denial. He doesn't want to admit that she's getting worse, and that's probably because he is scared, which does humanize him more. And I thought that fear would cause him to be more short-tempered and potentially more reckless, which could cause more issues. But Oz is more experienced than that. He instead uses that as a way to get closer to Sophia. He actually recognises the pain of it when talking to Sophia at her brother's funeral, and uses that to try and get her on his side, and we really are seeing how manipulative he is. He is using everything he possibly can to get on everyone's side, but with Moroni's henchmen surviving and being captured by Sophia, things don't look good for him, as he may reveal that Oz was on their side. But as always so far, Oz thought on his feet and framed Sophia's bodyguard, and that actually gets Sophia on Oz's side. So now we've got this standoff. Moroni's and Oz versus Falcone's and Oz versus Sophia and Oz, when in reality it's all of them versus Oz, but they have no idea. And I'm rooting for him. I have to say I am absolutely fascinated by the Penguin, and I want him to succeed, and I really love this episode. I think it builds perfectly on from the first episode, and has built more character development for almost everyone. After just two episodes, the show has me hooked, and I can't wait for next week. I mentioned I thought the first episode was a bit slow, but I didn't really feel that with today's episode. And I think that was because last week was establishing everything, whereas this week was just building on from it. We were introduced to most of the characters last week, and so today we were just learning more about them and developing the story more. Now I'm intrigued to see where it goes with Sophia and Oz, because you could go down the avenue of Oz realizing he and Sophia would be more powerful together than it just being him. Him. But that may be an eventual issue when she either finds out what really happened to her brother, or if Oz doesn't want to share the power. I think his mother's words in the first episode will really motivate him to be on his own as the only powerhouse in the city. And as her condition deteriorates, that's when I think we will see an even more ruthless version of Oz. Or he will use even more of that pain to manipulate the crime families to do what he wants. And I think his mother may actually be used against Oz at some point in the show by Sophia. He's opened up to her about his mother, potentially showing a vulnerability to her, and I think that maybe if she finds out about Oz killing her brother, then she may go after Oz's mum, and that would be an interesting scenario. I also think Oz has a soft spot for Victor as well. He's taken him under his wing, even though I'm pretty sure Victor didn't want that, but he's looking out for him and trying to teach him how to survive in this world, even if he does that in quite a cruel way sometimes. And Victor is the character we know the least 
about, and I wonder if he has some big surprise coming, whether that be from his past, or his family, or a big decision he makes later on. I just feel he's one that needs more character development, and I feel it's on purpose that we don't know too much about him yet. We're only two episodes in, with six more to go, so there is time, and I do want to see what he decides to do. If he chooses to fully embrace it, or if he eventually tries to run. I really don't know what his character can do other than that, so I'm interested to see what he does. So overall, I really enjoyed this episode. I think more than the first, as it wasn't as slow, and I think it sets up an exciting third episode with Sophia and Oz working together. I don't know what they have in mind, but I can't wait to find out. So I'd give this episode an 8.3 out of 10. And so let me know your rating out of 10 in the comments below. But that is all for today's review. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. I hope to see you here again soon. So until then, have a great day. Bye.